boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bartell. I'm here to remind you how to play circles and stars to help you practice your math facts. So I like to use one die. You can use two. One of the rules would be how many circles and the other one would be the quantity in the circle. I'm going to use one die. So let's say we have six circles, six groups. Remember, I'm gonna arrange my groups just kind of like you would see on a die. Three and three, right? Three and three. All right, so that's six groups. So you need to write six groups. Now, roll the second roll again. How many inside each? Four. Six groups of four. And I'm gonna circle that four because that's how many are in the group. Now remember, when we are arranging our stars inside our groups, super important to do it just like a die so that your brain can automatically recognize the quantity. Your brain does not have to count. It recognizes automatically that quantity. It's called subitizing. And when, when it's arranged in a pattern, oops, your brain can remember it if that makes sense. So super important to arrange like you would see here and like I've been training you. Now remember, it's circles and stars. Why am I not doing stars? Yep, I'm lazy, you got it. You could do stars because it is fun for you to draw stars. So remember, I'm just gonna review how to make the star. It's like an upside down V and you never lift your pencil, it's like cursive. We're gonna make a diagonal line up to the left, go across the horizon, and make another diagonal line. So you could do stars. You could. Okay? I'm going to do the dots because I'm a little bit lazy. Think about why I circled that four. Because that's how many are in each group. That's how many are in each group. Six groups of four. And we want to find the quantity, the product. So... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Super important. Now we're going to write our repeated additions sentence. So here we go. We have 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Plus four. There should be six fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's going to be 24. The last part of this is to write the inverse operation. The inverse operation. So we have 24 total. That's our product. And we divided that into six groups. And that's four in each group. Okay? Does that make sense? So this is just a reminder of how to play circles and stars. Remember, you could do it with two. One of the die is going to be how many groups, and the second one would be how many stars inside each. Okay? This is a great way to practice your multiplication facts.